Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV with the Rude Man. And uh, last episode we got an, uh, a letter of introduction to give to one of the knights. Let's go turn that in. up there there it is basalt you stand before dismal darkhold the subterranean fortress excavated by the great Isgardian house of the same name none but authorized personnel may enter A letter? So, you've come about the Imperial airship. According to our scouts, the vessel had scarce touched the ground when a pair of men, captives by all accounts, burst forth and bolted. Imperial soldiers have since been sighted in the area, seeking to recapture them. What? The captives are like to be your friends, you say? Well, then let us pray that they are yet a step ahead of their pursuers. The emergency landing reportedly took place near the Aurum Vale, situated south and west of here. I suggest you take your search there. Seek out a knight named Pyramons. He should be able to assist you. Alright, we're heading this way, I guess. They sure got a lot of dungeons around here. Mud puppies, mud puppies, run! <laughs> They're not that bad. Well, they can be. They can be. Alrighty, here he is. The Imperial Airship. Well, I, I saw it approach to the land with mine own two eyes. I hastened to the landing site, arriving just in time to see the vessel take off to the skies again. But not before I had deployed an attachment of troops. Gruff orders were being barked, and there was an air of consternation about them. There were prisoners aboard the airship, it seems, and they seized the opportunity to flee when the vessel was forced to land. The Garleans who were deployed formed search parties and proceeded to scour the wilderness in order to alert our forces. I returned to my post. To find evidence that someone had been here in my absence, whoever they were, they tried the door to no avail and decided to go elsewhere. In all, I marked two sets of footprints, one large, one small. If you search the area, mayhap you will be able to follow the prints to their owners. Well, this is kind of slow work.
try to avoid the, the nasty looking dog. He looks hungrier than I do. Man, it looks cold up here. Look at the wind gust. Snow falling out of the trees. We got something that looks like it's under the bridge. What is under here? Ah, it's Wedge. Wedge, what are you doing? Brr, so cold. I want to go home. Hey, Wedge. Ah, please, don't eat me. I'm not nearly as succulent as I look. It's all skin and bones underneath, I swear. Ah, Roland, it's you. Oh, thank goodness you're here. It's been, it's been uh, awful. The Garleans were snapping at our heels like a hungry pack of wolves. I was so hell's bent on evading them, I almost ran headlong into a monster's gapping maw thrice. And when I finally found cover, it hit me how cold and hungry I was. Biggs? Um, he isn't here. He went off in a different direction to lure our pursuers away. It's me, Sid. Have you had any success? Yeah, I got Wedge here. Track down Wedge? That's wonderful news. What about Biggs? I see. Well, it hardly surprises me that the big fellow went off as he did. For all the tongue lashings he gives Wedge, he's always taken care of him. I've scoured the area surrounding the dark hole, but have nothing to show for it. At any rate, we know for a fact that Biggs headed west. With both Ida and Estola helping out, I'm sure he'll turn up soon. Now, I'll make my way over to your position while keeping an eye out for Biggs. If memory serves, there should be an Ishgardian fortification not far to your west. Monument Tower, I believe it's called. Let's meet there. Dare I hope? Was that Master Garland you spoke with? After five long years, thank goodness he's alive. I'm feeling better now, Roland. Let's go to the Monument Tower and wait for the Chief to arrive. All right, he said to the west. Where's Wedge? Well met and welcome, adventure. What brings you to this frozen corner of the realm? Oh, 
It would seem your companion has caught a chill. Come, warm yourself by the fire. I'll bring you some hot broth. How are we feeling now, then? Stay here as long as you need. Same goes for you, friend. It's just plain you've had a hard journey ahead of you, but uh, you must find rest when you can. Alrighty. Where do we go from here? Talk to Wedge. I'm fine now, thanks to you. But I can't bear to think that Biggs is still all alone in the cold with garlands on his heels. He lured the enemy away for my sake, and now he's suffering for it. I hate to have to rely on you again, Roland, but you think you could search for Biggs? I have the slightest notion where he might at the moment be, but maybe, just maybe, the people here have, some, have seen something. Well, let's see. What did you know and when do you know it? A Rodigan gentleman dressed in the same manner as your companion? I'm sorry, but he didn't come in here. Hmm, let me think a moment. I'd not raise your hope unduly, but there is a cave situated a short distance to the south. We call it the Fury's Gaze, and it may be worth the while to investigate. I make this suggestion only because your friend seems like a selfless sort. Rather than drawing the enemy to this tower, mayhap he elected to pass us by. Well, that could be. That could very well be. What's this? Hmm. Man, there's a bunch of things in here. Uh, let's just get the hell out of here. I don't know if they're going to trigger the rest of those things, but if they do, that's too many for me. Didn't say I had to kill him. It just said I had to report. Hey, Wedge. Roland, did you learn anything? Not in this area? Well, that stands to reason, I suppose, seeing as he was trying to lure the Garleans away from me. But where within this vast sea of snow and ice could he be? We can't give up, Roland. We must find Biggs before he succumbs to the cold or is recaptured. There must be someone in this tower who can help us, even if it's only to tell us where else to look. Ask them for me, will you? Ask anyone who will listen. And hurry. Big's chances of survival grow slimmer by the moment. Alright, I guess we go upstairs. Maybe there's somebody up there. Yeah, hello. They don't look like they talk. They must be mute. Here's somebody that wants to talk. Hello, sir. Your friend is lost in the wilderness, you say? Eh, if he's not to be found around here or the vicinity of the Darkhold, it's possible he made for Whitebrim. 
To reach it, one must travel through Danifin Pass, the southern end of which lies to the north and the east of here. While I make no guarantee that you search will bear fruit, it is surely better than worrying in, in idleness. I wish you luck. Oh, one more thing. Do tread warily when climbing the stairs here. Not a moon ago, I near broke my neck when I slipped and took a tumble. <laughs> That's good to know. How about if I just jump off? Will that work? Can I do that? Whee! Oh, dang, that was tough. All right, Wedge. See you later. All right, so we got to go this away. Oh, look out. <coughs> Being chased by something nasty. Ah, what's this? No, 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 no. There's a Stola. Let me get rid of this guy. He's chasing me. You give up yet? You give up? You give up. All right. Let's go talk to Stola and see what's going on. Ida, what are you bouncing around for, girl? She's got nervous. Our orders are to take you back, dead or alive, which it will it be, engineer. Why don't you come and find out, you tin head? Called him a tin head. Hi, guys. Ah, Roland. It's well that you're here. The situation is grave. Biggs is in a bad way. We need to do something right now. Ida has the right of it. He's going to perish if we delay. With me. All right, let's go. It's fighting time. He's not alone. Kill them all. Well, good luck with that. We'll see how it happens. Let's take out this guy first. Oh, we got company. I was wondering where Biggs was taking off to. All right, these guys are nasty looking. Is any of them? I don't see any medical people. Let's take this guy out. Everybody doing Biggs is Biggs is doing okay. The Estola can heal herself. I think it's Ed is doing okay. The Biggs I have to watch out. He, he's not a fighter. He's an engineer. Let's take this big thing out. Oh no, take that guy out. See if we can get this thing. He just getting down. All right, come on, get this guy. Oh shit, he just almost hurt. Well, that didn't work. 
Good lord. I tell you, these guys got the weakest damn healing spell. Unbelievable. Vanguard out. Um, I hopefully Pistola healed Eda a little bit. What I did barely did anything. Whew. My thanks. Another moment I would have been, well, yeah, gone. It's been too long in the cold. We've got to find shelter. Monument Tower, you say? Very well. Eda and I shall bear him there with all haste. Sid will be so happy to see Biggs and Wedge again. I love reunions. Okay, so uh, we got to go back and report to Wedge. Let's see, how do we get out of here? This way? Uh, that's the tower right there, I think. Hey, Wedge. He's always crying. Come on. Put your big pants on. I cannot thank you enough, Roland. And the same goes for the rest of you. Thank you all so much. Ah, don't mention it. We were family. We're family, are we not? Well, well, yes. It's just, well... It's just I didn't think, Sniff. I didn't think I'd ever see him again. I owe the lot of you my life. And you saved Wedge too, Roland. I'm losing control of how many times I owe you. They ate, Sid. Biggs, Wedge. Gods, it's good to see the two of you again. Chief, it's you. It's really you. In our hearts, we knew you were still alive, but to finally see you in the flesh. When Alphanod told me of the raid on the Awaking Sands, I feared the worst. What happened? The enemy struck with nary a warning. We didn't stand a chance. Wedge and I were in the workshop when they came. Before we knew what was happening, the Imperials... Had us at gunpoint. It must have been awful. There's one thing I don't understand, though. How did the Garleans get there so fast? I mean, the immortal flames should have seen them coming, right? I myself have asked the same question that, that day when I returned to the carnage of the waking sands. I noted not a miss in horizon. Nothing at all to suggest the passing of Imperial force. From this... I conclude that the Garleans came neither by land nor by air. Nay, they were born there by potent teleportation magics. Magics of the kind used by the Asians. Carry on. We were bound and blindfolded and bundled in the cargo bay of a waiting airship. I can't rightly say how long we were aboard, but when the time came for us to disembark, we found ourselves in the midst of an imperial stronghold, Castrum Sentry. Upon arrival, we were marched off into the main complex. Biggs and I were thrown into a detainment cell together, while Menphilia and the others were taken elsewhere. This was the last we heard from them. Castrum Sentry. What happened next? Well, 
We were held in an isolation chant for uh, what felt like years, but was probably moons or maybe only weeks. And then, without warning, the Imperials collected the pair of us and put us on another vessel, which we found out was bound for Garlemald. Much to our dread, we knew if we were to be taken back, they weren't likely to leave again. So risky though it was, we sabotaged the ship's altitude control, thereby forced an emergency landing, and in the midst of the ensuing chaos, we managed to slip our, our captors. The rest, as they say, is history. Ha! Huh. If I didn't know better, I'd call that a likely story. Sabotaging the al altitude controls of an airborne vessel. That'll have to be have been Big's handiwork. Like as not. You always were resourceful in a tight spot, my friend. Glad you're having such a good time about it. Roland, thank you for returning my dear assistance to me. It would seem I owe you yet another debt of gratitude. There are still many questions in my mind, but the answers can wait. Minfilia and the others still want for rescue. All right, you lot. Garland Ironworks is back in business. Let's go and give the Imperials what for. Here, here. Thanks to you, Biggs and Wedge are with us again. Now, you must find a way to rescue Minfilia and the others. Gods know we've been, kept them waiting too long already. Based on what we've learned, I believe it's safe to say they're being held at the Castrum Sentry. Yeah, that'd be my first guess. So, let us convene at Reverence Toll in Mordona. Just as good a place as any to prepare. Better than most. The road leading east, then south, will get us there. When we arrive, let's seek the advice of the local adventurers. We're bound to learn a thing or two about the be what will benefit our mission. Okay, I guess we're off. Just cross, it's just across the border here. Stay on the road. Might be safer. Mordona. Okay, we're supposed to talk to this gentleman right here. I think this is Sid's workshop right here. Well met, friends. What brings you to Revenant's Toll? Did I hear you rightly? Your friends are being held captive at Castrum Sentry, and you want to rescue them. I don't mean to discourage you, but that might prove a little difficult. The stronghold has been on high alert of late, with armored patrols seen about the perimeter around the clock. Not even a fly could get within a hundred yalms of the walls undetected. If the Garleans were alerted to your coming, 
We cannot know what they will do to Minfilia and the others. We must act with great stealth. I. It has to be good old-fashioned infiltration. But with security so tight, how are we going to smuggle them ourselves in? Why, I've had a man mind to walk through the front door. Huh? The front door? I will be disguising ourselves as Imperial troops and march right in. For this, we'll need a few sets of Imperial uniforms, a suit of Magitek armor, and impeccable timing. Hey, that's a bold strategy, but it just might work. Where we are, there's certainly no shortage of opportunity to borrow the equipment. Knowing those Imperial bastards, they won't even suspect that we savage erosions would think to use such a technology. Then it's settled. If you're determined to go ahead with this, I'd recommend you speak with Glamont. The, fellow got, uh, the fellow's got a personal grudge against the Empire and happens to know a deal about Castrum Sentry. Besides, I've no doubt that he'd want to be of aid. Ida and I shall go to reconnoiter Garlean activity at the stronghold. It would not do if something were to befall our comrades before we had the chance to act. Come and join us when ready, Roland. Let's do this. Sometimes I wonder, Ida, are there ever times when you are not enthused? I'm nothing if not enthused, Estola, and you're beginning to remind me of Papalimo. All right, let's go talk to this guy he wants us to talk to. Right there, that thing that's jumping around, that's the Magitek armor we need to steal. Looking for Glomant, are you? Well, you found him, whoever you are. Eh? You're looking to get inside Castrum Sentry and you need my help? Hey, something tells me we're gonna get along just fine. So you have friends at Castrum Sentry who want to rescue. That Stalburn oh, knows me too well. Aye, you can count on my help. I've got a score to settle with the Imperials, and I never pass on an opportunity to get back at the Horsons. But enough about me, let's talk strategy. Rescuing fro folks from captivity is right delicate business. A single oversight, just one little blunder, and it's all over. You can't leave any room for uncertainty. For starters, you need to concern beyond the shadow of a doubt that your friends were, are, are where you think they are. You don't want to risk your neck only to discover that they've been moved. But how can you find out, you ask? By following these instructions. If you approach Sentry from the east, you'll see a swampland to your left, called the Tangle. Get in there, never mind about all the morbles, and navigate your way to the southwestern corner. You'll come upon some drainage pipes coming down from the stronghold. Don't ask me how I know, but one of them leads back to the command tower. If you listen closely, it might be as you can eavesdrop on some of the happenings within. Once we know for certain your friends are there, we'll move to the next stage of the operation. Now get going and Godspeed. Yeah, he said to ignore the Marlboros, but they're pretty nasty. We're going to probably have to fight our way in. You can't just ignore them. Oh, I went the wrong way. All right. Yeah, I was going back up into Corsica. We want to go... Uh, 
this way. Watch out, those guys like to lick you. I don't like getting licked. Just like that. Yuck. Nasty booger. All right, let's see if we, there, there's the marbles that you want to stay away from. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Let's see if we can sneak through here. Did I take the wrong turn? I did. Darn it. All right, is it this one? Nope, not this one. Is it this one? Nope, not this one. There we go, drainage. Oh geez, drainage pipe. Oh, it's coming. Oh geez. It's coming. Oh no, run. All right. Okay, don't let them cough on you. They got diseases that haven't even been discovered yet. Up here it comes, here it comes. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, here's the pipe. Oh, geez. Chocobo, heal me. Oh, he's not gonna heal me. Oh, there it went. Finally, thank you. My heal spell is so bad. Were there? Last one. There, finally. Ah, oh, that was exhausting. All right, let's hear what we can hear. The faint sound of conversation echoes down the pipe. What of the captives? Does she still refuse to speak? She may as well be deaf mute for all the information we've gotten out of her. The others aren't much better. The, the elf gets on my nerves most of all. Every time he opens his mouth, it's only to spout gibberish. I do wonder why is the Tribunus so obsessed with this Minfilia woman? They say she possesses some mystical power, something the Garleans don't have. Mystical power? Like the kind the beastmen use? 
How am I supposed to bloody know? If you're so curious, why don't you just ask the Tribunus yourself? As well try to tumble her. I like my head where it is. Thank you very much. Our break's over. We best get back to our stations. The footfalls grow fainter until all is silent. So, we know they're there. So they are being kept there. Let's go talk to Alphanod. Alphano. Alphano. He's a strange little character. Oh, what, what? Nope, nope, not that way. Don't go that way. So Alphano, you might wonder about Alphano, what he is. Uh, he's an Elizan, he's an elf. But the, him and his sister, they're only just kids. They're only like 16. Uh, so they're just teenagers. They're not fully grown by any means, although they're very bright. It's good to see you again, Roland. I'm given to understand you have conducted some rec reconnaissance. Tell me, what were you able to learn? So, Minfilia and the others are indeed at Castrum Sentry. Their presence thus confirmed, we may proceed with the mission. While you were afield, Sid took the liberty of devising a plan of action. Pray have the details for him. Good work, Roland. As Alphanaw has already told you, we've plotted out a course for the rescue. The gist of it is unchanged. We disguise ourselves as soldiers and infiltrate the stronghold. Glamont is looking into ways to procure a suit of Magitek armor. In the meantime, I need your assistance for some preparation of my own. Minfilia and the others are counting on us, Roland. Let's not keep them waiting any longer than necessary. While Glamont goes about devising his plan, we need to see to some preparation of our own. It wouldn't do if the Imperials were to discover that they are short in armor. To prevent this from happening, I'm going to put together a makeshift communications jamming device. The explanation is like to get a bit technical, so bear with me. Imperial forces communicate at a distance via electromagnetic waves. Simply put, Voices are born upon aetheric lightning energy that permeates the air. Now the hill-sized cluster of corrupted crystals to the west of here has been observed to amplify the self-same energy. By making use of this property, we should be able to drown out imperial voices. To ensure that we have enough amplification, we must identify the most potent crystals among the cluster. For this, I need you to go there and use this device to take readings. I'll mark the likely places on your map. Oh, and just so you know, plasmoids are drawn to lightning energy. Don't be surprised if you run into a few. Alright, so we gotta go listen to crystals, I guess. But, I tell you what, let's uh, take this opportunity to rest. When we come back, we'll talk to Glomout, see what he needs us to do on procuring what he needs. And uh, we need to go check those crystals out. Hope you had fun. I hope to see you then. Ta-ta for now.